And as many as 18 million Americans could be suffering from gluten-related illnesses, and that's down to the genetically modified soy and corn they eat, a survey reveals. Medical experts say it may become an epidemic for the next generation, prompting more and more in the U.S. to choose a gluten-free diet. RT's Marina Portnoy investigates the seeds of GMO-phobia. In a city with thousands of restaurants, Yoko Kanamori has lunch at the same place nearly every day. Almost, Almost. yes, Almost yes. Everybody, they, everybody knows me because I love it. <laughs> Here at Four Foods, the ingredients are natural, GMOs are limited as much as possible, and the menu caters to an exploding dietary necessity in the U.S. We probably in the past year and a half, we see more people coming directly for us because we do have gluten-free options. Listed among the top food trends by Time magazine, the gluten-free lifestyle has boomed into a billion-dollar American industry. Foods, books, and even boot camps cater to a G-free clientele. Doctors are now paying attention to a new phenomenon called gluten sensitivity. And what about this gluten free diet. Oh, it's great. Yeah. It's great. It's a no gluten, high protein, all natural bar. Gluten is a protein found in wheat and other grain products. 18 million Americans reportedly suffer from gluten related disorders. While medical experts have dubbed it the next big U.S. epidemic, a new report finds genetically modified foods such as soy and corn may be an environmental trigger for the growing health crisis. If you look at the nature of the two primary toxins found in most GMOs, you can predispose the physiology for those types of symptoms related to gluten sensitivity. In fact, these include gastrointestinal disorders, immune system problems, etc. The multinational billion dollar company Monsanto happens to be a leading producer of GMO seeds. RT reached out to the company. A spokesperson said that Monsanto is not aware of credible evidence that support allegations of their products being harmful. But the report, released by the Institute for Responsible Technology, finds that the weed killer, known as Roundup, used on GMOs, also has a negative effect on gut bacteria. Its toxicity is insidious because you don't have an immediate acute reaction, but it erodes your health slowly over time. Autism, Alzheimer's disease, um, kidney failure, thyroid cancer, these have all been shown to be very strongly correlated with the use of Roundup on corn and soy. In the meantime, Monsanto has reportedly spent billions on lobbying to keep GMO foods from being labeled in the U.S. Sales in the gluten-free food market have reached new heights due to a dangerous health epidemic. This comes as Monsanto grossed more than $13 billion in revenue last year, selling products many believe to be responsible for that epidemic in the first place. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.